Romana TV has been spoken with Anna Skull and young filmmaker Ran Ralph since the release of Skintown Chronicles. Two years on and with college and two more short films under his belt, this week he entered his first ever film festival. Taking home the runner-up prize, we predict this is the first of many awards that the Fermanagh man will soon be picking up. It's the it was the second film from three overall, but this was the second one that I'd done with. It's I'm just a friend of mine who's who got into the kind of script writing side of filmmaking, so we kind of got together and made a few films, and this was this was the second one we done, uh, which we entitled Bog Rules. So Monday night, um, we went down with the, the old four sale film crew. We had a few guys up from Enniskill and then a couple more of the, the cast and crew who I actually live with. So they all came down, a few other friends came down, so we had a bit, good bit of support. I'm so used to maybe friends and family saying, you know, good job, Ryan, good job in the film, very funny, made me laugh. But in the end, you kind of you reflect and think, you know, right, you find it funny, but you know so-and-so who, who's telling the joke. So it was really cool seeing, you know, maybe people, like strangers coming up and the organisers coming up and saying, you know, really good job, we really like that. So definitely submit another one. It was really, it was such a, it was a real compliment, and I was very flattered. The Film Devar Short Film Festival is committed to showcasing the best of local raw talent. It aims to provide a platform for amateur filmmakers to showcase their projects and meet like-minded peers. It's organised by it's a guy called Brian Mulholland, who's a local filmmaker from Belfast. And really, I think the reason he wanted to do this is more just to have an output for for local filmmakers to, to come and showcase their work, showcase their films. The guys who will show your film, whatever standard is that. And so if you're a starter or if you're, I suppose, like a, a pro with this kind of thing, I would get your film in it anyway, because it's a real good chance to even get to kind of meet other filmmakers and other people who are interested. With absolutely no budget to work with, Ryan says he couldn't do it without the help of his good friends, AKA his budding actors. And these are guys that I've kept in contact with the last couple of years and have been making films in the, in the past and literally will be the first people I go to for the next project or two. You know what I mean, they'll, like Sean and Dwayne, everybody, they'll be the first that I call on. So we've kind of we've got ourselves a wee kind of group and so I've met some really reliable guys who are always there to help out. What are you guys doing here? Hi, Paul. I can't believe this. I've been looking for you all night. They put up here with him. Really? Well... Carl did know about it. With college done and dusted, Ryan hopes this year he and his production company Films for Sale will be able to concentrate fully on producing more films and hopefully start making a name for themselves on the local film circuit. All I can say is Steven Spielberg, you may watch out. Ashlyn Hagen for Mana TV.